to be before you today giving thanks to God the most high God the almighty God Amen. the alpha and the omega yeah. the first and the last the mender of my heart the lover and keeper of my soul hallelujah and my best friend hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. And giving honor to God to the pastor, Pastor uh, Reverend Don Harris, in her absence, and her husband, uh, Brother Robert Harris. Glory to God. We're so thankful. And thank you to my cousin, Mott. <laughs> God bless you. And these two dynamos back here. My, 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 I don't know if y'all heard me shouting and hollering back there, <laughs> but glory to God, glory to God. God is good. Yes. Y'all just indulge me in just as this song has been on my heart this morning. If you know, I don't know whether you know it or not, but I just got to get it out of me. Yeah, no, no. Hallelujah. I'm running for my life. 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 If anybody asks you what's wrong with me, tell them I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. I got Jesus on my side and I'm running for my life. 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 If anybody asks you what's wrong with me, I tell them I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, by baptized. I got Jesus on my side and I'm running for my life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, the, we're going to go into the word right now. And we're going to come from the book of 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah. We're going to go. We heard a keynote scripture. And we're going to also stick a pen in this passage. The fifth chapter of 2 Corinthians the 15th through 18th verses glory to god second corinthians 5, uh, 5 15 through 18 glory to god and the word of the lord says thank you jesus and he died for all that those who might live might no longer live mm -hmm, to them for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. 17th verse, hallelujah. Therefore, 
If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Let me read that one again. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. My God, the King James Version says he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Glory to God. Now, through this past year, these past few years, we've really been through a lot, haven't we? Amen. We, we've been through something. Uh, we've endured hypocrisies. My God, from those who's supposed to know better, but hypocrisies, and yet they don't repent. My God, and they double down on the hypocrisies and lies. We've uh, rebellion from sound instruction and leading people mm -hmm, to die in ignorance and COVID-19 and the deaths from COVID-19 and then corruption, greed and scandal and lack of wisdom, lack of direction. My God. Amen. And, and all of that's in the church. Amen. We even haven't talked about what's going on in the world yet. <laughs> My God. And young people being drawn away from Christianity because of the hypocrisy they see in leadership. And we are quick to quote Hosea 4 and 6, where it says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. But we often cut it off right there. And when I say we, I really mean us preacher folk. When we quote Hosea 4 and 6, we cut it off right there and don't quote the whole passage where it reads, I will, the Lord, also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God because you've done that I will also forget thy children it says I will reject thee priest because the ministers who are supposed to serve the word of the Lord are ignorant themselves of the word and that's why the people perish because of lack of knowledge, because they're hungry. The people are hungry and thirsty for the word of God. And yet we who are supposed to know better don't know better Amen. and aren't feeding the flock. My God. Listen, I've, I have people that follow me online and they live in all kinds of lives. But I preach an unadulterated gospel yes. and they still follow me. Yes. And, the, and because they see that I walk in love and that's what's going to draw people is if we walk in love, if they can see the light that shines in us. And I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost has been all in this service today yes. the songs that have been sung yes. let your light so shine this little light of mine Amen. I'm going to let it shine my God so and then we read 2 Corinthians 3 and 2 where it says ye are written epistles written in our hearts and read of all men so I'm just going to take a few moments if y'all don't mind and then I'm going to be out of your way. My God, I, some of y'all probably got a delicious Sunday dinner. 
waiting. And if you have like some fried chicken, you know, I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> no? All right. But if I could take just a few moments of your time, we're going to talk about creature, feature. My God, the creature, feature. You understand that you are being watched. All that you do, all in your home, on your job, in even on your in your break room. I'm being watched. Everything that we do is being watched because we are written epistles. We are living books. My God, we are the scrolling DVD. We are the Netflix of the Holy Ghost. We are the Hulu of Hallelujah. My God, we are written epistles. You are the feature attraction before the main event. You are a creature feature. My God. Now, I'm not telling you to be paranoid. I'm not having, well, I don't want you to think that somebody is hiding in the trees or <laughs> somebody's hanging out and hiding out there disguised as a fire hydrant. No, no, no. I, no, the Lord rebuked that. Amen. Amen. But we are being watched. My God from Zion, you are a living, walking book. My God. Do you know that we are all evangelists? Even if you're not called as an evangelist, you are still an evangelist. You, every day, you and I, we are sharing what we believe. We are sharing what's important in our hearts. Amen. My God from Zion. The question is, who are you evangelizing for? Right. My God. It's either you're evangelizing the kingdom of God and you're showing others the way of Christ or you're evangelizing for the other guy. You're evangelizing for you might not call him the enemy. You might not recognize him as Satan, but you're evangelizing for him nevertheless. My God, understand that in this, we like to say in this day and age, nothing is black and white. But I'm here to tell you that the moment that God said, let there be light, there has been a division between light and darkness, between good and evil, before, be, between righteousness and unrighteousness. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Matt, Jesus said, scribe, in Matthew 6, 24, no man can serve two masters, for he will either hate the one and love the other, All right. or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve God in the world. My God from Zion. I think it's in the book of James where it's written that uh, fresh water doesn't come from a salty spigot. My God. So you can, t I mean, sometimes there was a song that said, how deep is your love? Sometimes you can tell by what flows from your mouth. My God from Zion. Listen, and so this, well, when the Lord was giving me this message, I thought of two shows. 
Uh, the first show was this show called Mystery Science Theater 3000. And Mystery Science Theater 3000 was this screwy cornball comedy where this man uh, was supposed to have committed some crime against the Galactic Empire. And so they arrested him and his two robot friends. And as punishment, they would sit them down in front of the worst sci-fi and horror movies as punishment. But what they wound up doing is heckling and ridiculing what was on the screen. So we would see them cracking jokes at what at the bad sci-fi. <clears throat> I mean, the, the, the editing was bad. The, the special effects was bad. The writing was bad. It's like we could see the, the, the fishing line on the jet flying across the sky. We could see the firecracker making the smoke out the jet. That's how bad the science, the, the, the special effects was. And I think of, uh, I don't know if any of you all have seen the movie Justice League. It, uh, it, but Justice League was first envisioned by the, di the original director. But the studio execs thought they had a better idea and they yanked him off the project and replaced them with a different director. Y'all stay with me, I'm going somewhere with this. And they yanked the original director off the project and replaced him with a different director. And the different director chopped up the movie and slapped it together, tried to force humor, tried to force action and the movie flopped because it did not meet the original director's design. So the outcry came from the fans. We want the Snyder Cut. We want the Snyder Cut. We want the original director's vision. All right. And the outcry was so great that the studio relented and they released to the fans the Snyder Cut. It was four hours long, but it was a masterpiece. It fit everything, made sense. The story was cohesive. The heroes, Superman, Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, Cyborg and Aquaman, they didn't come across as some goofballs, but they came across as selfless, heroic beings. <laughs> and the fans loved it. And it made tons of money. And I want to let you know, since we are talking about being a creature, feature that if we try to live this life yeah. on our own yeah. we are basically slapping cuts together yeah. and we are not living in the master's original design for us his original purpose for us yeah. and people look at us and they laugh and they say that's a joke that person's a joke. But when you live for Christ, he takes a nothing, yes. chaotic, slap together mess. I know he did it for me. And he makes us into a masterpiece. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. The second show I remember as a child, was this show called Creature Feature. All right. And it starred Dr. Paul Bearer. How many of y'all remember Creature Feature? Glory to God. And on Creature Feature, that used to come on and last four hours. 
and they used to come on before what we would call the wrestling with Gordon Sully and Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. Yes! <laughs> and I remember while we would be watching the rest of the creature feature, my Aunt Mary Lee would be in the kitchen making some chicken and cornbread. Hallelujah. <laughs> and some mulberry juice. Y'all know about that. My God. But on Creature Feature, they used to trot out all of the monsters. My God. Listen. Listen. And Romans. Romans 12 and 2. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We have to surrender our lives, all of our lives, in order for God to make this change. My God, because now, uh huh, that we are new creatures, yes. now that we are a new creation, yes. we are not the monsters that was shown by Dr. Paul Barrett. At least we shouldn't be. We are not monsters like filled with the blind rage of Godzilla. Every time somebody say something, we gonna nuke them with our atomic breath. We gonna blow them up. We gotta have the last say. My God from Zion, somebody look at you funny. You ready to devastate Tokyo. My God from Zion. We are no longer the blood sucking people using people abusing Dracula. Amen. My God, we are no longer the sneaky, conniving, backstabbing Jack the Ripper. My God from Zion. We are no longer hacked up, slapped up, jammed together, patched together like a quilt, like Frankenstein's monster. Every time somebody say they got a word, just because it sounds good, you're going to uh, patch it on you. My God, patch together. My God, we are the children of promise. Hallelujah. What affiliation does the children of promise have to do with the world? Talking about creature, feature, my God. And I got news for you. You may not have been a scary monster, but I got news. We not even SpongeBob, SquarePants, my God from Zion, that happy-go-lucky yellow sponge. We not even SpongeBob, my God, doing more harm than good. My God, bumbling and stumbling without a clue, without direction. We live a purpose-driven life. For the word of God says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The key is in transformation, selflessness, surrender, being yielded completely to God, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Romans 12 and 1 says, I beseech thee therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, 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 acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. We used to be timid Gideons, but God named us mighty men of valor. Judges 6 and 12, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Glory to God. 
We used to be sneaking and creeping, whipping and dipping, even going as far as a prostitute. But glory to God, one day the slipping and dipping ended and we were changed to Rahab, who according to the book of Joshua, assisted the Israelites in capturing Jericho by hiding two men who had been sent to scout the city prior to their attack. Once called an innkeeper in a trick, now called a saint who lived by faith, considered righteous for her works. People used to look down on you. They used to call you weak. But I want to encourage you today. It don't matter what they call you. God is working in you and through you. Glory to God. Being confident in Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this very thing that which he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. My God from Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They used to call you a nobody. They used to call you clumsy. They used to call you small bill. Look at him. Look at her. You ain't nothing. Nothing good comes from Nazareth. Nothing good comes from Brooksville. But you ain't nothing but a meek, mild-mannered reporter. They love to look over you, love to pass you by. Hallelujah, my God, because they mistook your meekness for weakness. My God from Zion, hallelujah. But when they needed somebody that they could, that they knew, could get a prayer through when they needed somebody that they knew that if they went to them, they wouldn't take what they heard and run and tell it. My God, when they needed somebody, hallelujah, they turned to you, my God, because they've been watching you. They've seen you living upright. They've seen you not getting involved in mess. They seen you not getting involved in all this gossip. They seen you minding your business, my God. And they said, there's something peculiar about this person. There's something different about this person. I can go to this person, my God, and, and trust them with my troubles. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you are a creature, feature. My God from Zion. So you're the first one that they call on. My God, they used to look over you. Amen. They used to look over you. Yes. But you've been minding your business. You've been minding, living up, upright and holy. Somebody hold this for me. Hallelujah. Because we're talking about this transformation. They say, who is this person? What is it about him? But you are a creature, feature. And when your trouble comes, you pull back the anointing and you expose the Holy Ghost, the S on your chest. Hallelujah. You are a creature, feature. Look up in the sky. Hallelujah. It's a bird. Hallelujah, it's a plane. Glory to God. No, it's you, a new creature, a new creation. Mounted up on wings of eagles, endowed with supernatural power. It's a marvel, my God. It's a wonder, woman. Glory to God. You've been optimized, prime transformed you're a transformer because you're more than meets the eye you are a living comic book you are a living feature film my god so as we were singing today 
Let your light so shine. Yeah. Glory to God. Let the glory of God shine in you. Let the glory of God shine through you. You are the creature feature, All right. the new creation. Yes. And you are a herald for the main attraction who is Jesus Christ. You, when they talk about you, you just stay in there All right. and you get on your knees yes. because one day, one day, one day, one day, you used to be a mild manner reporter. Yes. But the anointing came. My God from Zion, the anointing came and the mantle was put on you and you no longer was Smallville. My God, but you are anointed supernatural, filled with supernatural power from on high. Hallelujah. You used to be Godzilla, but now you're a God thriller because the anointing is upon you. And he said that when your ways please the Lord, he makes his enemies be at peace with you. Have you been changed? I said, have you been changed? Have you been converted? My God, is the anointing upon you where the anointing can keep you, lift you up, up, up in a way. Hallelujah. Higher in the Lord. Higher in Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God. For him saving me and changing me. I thank God that he rescued me and he put his anointing on me. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Folks, my God, if you, whether you're here this afternoon or if you are watching today, hallelujah, over, hallelujah, the internet, my God, aren't you tired of the way you've been faring? Aren't you tired of the load you've been bearing? Aren't you ready to become a new creation? My God, when people see you, they turn the other way. Here comes Godzilla again. Here comes King Kong. My God from Zion. But when you come in contact with the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lord, he will convert you from King Kong and make you a child of the King. Hallelujah. So if you do not know Christ for yourself and you want everything Einstein said, that one form of ins definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Aren't you tired of trying things your way? I want to invite you to know Jesus for yourself. Hallelujah. Because I had to try him for myself. Hallelujah, glory to God. I tried him oh, yeah. Yeah. for myself. I tested him. He said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Y'all who grew up around me uh, know that I was a, to your shock. They used to call me a nerd. <laughs> Hallelujah. You might say, no, are you kidding me? But I was called a nerd, hallelujah, a bookworm. My God, hey, my cousin Lee Andrew used to call me Question Eddie because I asked so many questions, hallelujah. 
But one day I asked the Lord, uh, if you're real, show yourself to me. He said, son, taste and see that the Lord is good. So I tasted and I tried him for myself. And he's sweeter than the honey in the honeycomb. So if you don't know Jesus for your savior, don't keep trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. My God, this is your invitation. This is your moment. This is your time. My God. You know, as we, as we sing, come to Jesus, I ask you, if you don't know him, we're going to pray right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Come to Jesus. Heavenly Father, come to those that are viewing today father god and to be there in their cars or be they father god over the interweb father god. i pray for that one who is tired of doing the same thing over and over again my god and they want to change if you say lord jesus come into my heart I repent of all of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. I want a fresh start. Come into my heart. I believe that you are the son of the living God. The preacher man told me that you died on a cross and that you were risen from the dead. And because of that, Lord, I believe, I choose to believe, and by my confession, by my choice, I accept you as Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. or be you over the internet you are saved and you're as saved as you're going to be the next step is that you find yourself a church home hallelujah find yourself a church home um, we're overcoming this COVID business and those who follow me on the web I prophesied in two, uh, and watch night service, I prophesied that this would happen. I also prophesied that if you get in connection with God in serving him, he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is that if you give of your time, if you desire more time, God will give you more time and then some so that you can be a witness to him. If you're like, well, I wish I could give to a mission. Then if you if you have that desire in your heart, God will not only give that to you, but because God is the God of more than enough, he will then bless you so that your cupboard is not empty. Amen. Amen. This is harvest time, y'all. And so hallelujah. If you don't have a church home, sent, uh, there's no excuse now. You can't say, well, the COVID, the COVID uh, is clearing up. And it's clearing up. And because it's clearing up, find your church. And and uh, feel free. Um, there's a lot of materials that you can get online as well. But I thank God for each of you. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer, you're saved. Glory to God in heaven is having a Holy Ghost party over you. <laughs>